the next ratio that we are going to see is financial leverage ratio. Financial leverage ratio essentially is calculated as average total assets divided by equity. So as you can see, let's take numbers here. Let's say a company has equity of 50, debt of 50, total asset and liability. Total asset and hence the liability is equal to 100. Now if you calculate this, 100 by 50, you will get 2. So what does this number imply is, you have invested $50 worth of capital, but with that you are able to buy $100 of asset, meaning you have leveraged your capital two times. Right? So let's take another number, let's say this is 50 and this is 25 and you get a total debt or asset of 75. In this case, your ratio would be 75 by 25 which is equal to 3. So you have invested your equity which is your investment as a shareholder is only 25 but you leveraged it three times to buy asset worth of 75. So you, you leveraged your equity three times to buy your assets worth of 75. Alright? So obviously as you can see, as this number increases, the riskiness increases because if the number is higher, meaning the debt is, the proportion of debt is increasing. Right? So let's go ahead and calculate this ratio. Average total assets, average of assets, assets equal to liability, so I am calculating it here and average of equity So average total asset by average equity. Last year it was 1.83. This year it was 1.89. Again the interpretation here is same. The riskiness has moderately increased. Right? So here what we are saying is if shareholders have invested dollar one. Last year the company had 1.83 times of assets. So the company was able to leverage this dollar one. 1.83 times and had assets worth of 1.83. So 0.83 is debt. For every dollar of equity, the company had 0.83 dollar of debt. Sorry, uh, 1.83 dollars of, no, no, sorry, uh, 0.83 dollars of debt. For every dollar of equity, the company had 1.83 dollars of asset and 0.83 dollars of debt last year, right? Because equity plus debt would have given the asset. This year the riskiness has increased because this number has gone to 1.89. Right? So this year the company's debt for every dollar of equity the company's debt has increased to 0.89 compared to 0.83 and hence I am saying the riskiness has increased. This is how we have to calculate financial leverage ratio and interpret it.